and welcome to another episode of Inside St. Jude's. Today is Science Fair here at St. Jude. This is an event whereby students showcase their ideas and innovative skills. So Science Day is all about learning, sharing and the best of all, innovating. We'll be speaking to some of our fellow students who have brought their ideas and knowledge and they made the project showing us today. My name is Irene. And my name is Teresia. Let's go, we explore it together. So we are now going to have Mr. Myaga, who is the head of science department at St. Jude Girls Secondary School. So Mr. Myaga, why do you think it's so important to have Science Day at St. Jude's? Hosting a Science Day at St. Jude is important because it gives our students a room and opportunity to be exposed to a different project that will make them love science and strive more to make more science projects. And which invention has impressed you the most today? The project or invention that impressed me too much, so much today is a digital voting system. This is because it gives you more people a chance to participate into, into voting system and as well it helps those people who cannot reach the polling stations to participate into a voting system. And as a science teacher, how do you make sure that the inventions go beyond St. Jude? As a science teacher, I normally encourage my students to love science, that's number one. And number two, what I'm ensuring is to make sure I provide the guidance and the counseling and also I encourage my students to read scientific publications for them to be exposed to a different environment so that they can participate and they can make more projects which are needed for a global well-being. So today you were among the judges. As a judge, what were you looking for in a project? As a judge, we normally look for innovation, creativity, and new designs of the project. But again, we normally, as I, I normally see the impact of the project to the society, to see if the project has a societal impact so that they can solve our society problems. And once the students win here, what's next? Once the students win, in our competition or in our exhibition, we normally expose our students to varieties of exhibitions like Young Scientist of Tanzania exhibition, Nelson Mandela exhibition, and any other exhibition that will allow our students to participate and show up their talents. Thank you so much, Mr. Myaga, for having you today. And now we're going to see projects from different students. And this is our next project. Can you please tell us your names? I am Amina and I am Esther. So what is the name of your project and can you describe how it works? So the name of this project is a peanut roasting machine. This project is used to roast groundnuts and cashew nuts. The project uses gas as a source of heat and it also uses electricity to support the movement of the roasting drum. You light on the gas which will allow gas to penetrate to the square tube, where the square tube ha are having holes which will allow the gas to come out. After lighting on the gas, you connect the motor to the electricity which will facilitate the movement of the drums. The peanuts in will be forced to mix and finally, after some time, you'll remove the, your nuts and they'll be ready for use. So who inspired you to make this project? We got an inspiration from our surrounding environments. We have people at homes who struggle in doing peanut roasting. They use a lot of energy and finally get, get a lot of problems like health problems due to smoke produced. So through this project, that challenge can be solved and that is why we used the idea to make this project. Do you love science? And if so, why do you love science? I do, yes, love science. and. The reason of me loving science is that I get courage and skills of bringing more things in this world and helping people through the science skills. So what career would you like to pursue when you grow up? Um, when I grow up, I just want to be a gynecologist that it's because I like helping women. That's a good job. Thank you so much. And what career would you like to pursue? For me, I would like to become a chemical engineer. This is because I would like to develop 
more ideas and skills and I like to manufacture other things which will help solve problems in our societies. Then you must be very good at chemistry. I am the best. We are now moving on to the next project. And this is the project from St. Jude Secondary School. Could you please tell us your name? My name is Michael from Form 4 class. What is your project about? Uh, my project is about making fertilizer and pesticides. Can you please describe on how it works? Uh, this project is concerned about making fertilizer. So we have discussed about the project, about the problem that is facing most of the societies, that the companies are making fertilizers that have harmful effects to the environment. Now this project has came with the solution of solving that problem of having fertilizers that are harmful to human beings. The mechanism of this project we are using available materials to make organic compounds that will decompose some materials that will produce the nutrients that will make a plant to grow well. The, as you know, that for a plant to grow, it needs three macronutrients, which are NPK, nitrate, phosphorus, and potassium. Now, in this container here, we have tried to make a soil mixture that contains two among the three macronutrients, which are nitrate and potassium. In this container, we have papers. Papers contain nitric acid. Nitric acid cannot be obtained without being decomposed. The papers should be decomposed by using the mixture of this. This is a mixture of garlic and cloves. This will be used in making that fertilizer. Do you want to pursue science in future? Yes, of course. I need to pursue science in future because my career needs science. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. So as for you to pursue science, it means that there is a teacher who is inspiring you. Who inspires you a lot? Yeah, my science teacher, the agriculture teacher, inspired me to do this project. Aha. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you. Over to you, Teresia, now. Wow. Now we are going to an art project. Can you please tell us your name and the name of the project? Okay, my name is Karim and the name of the project is Sana Climate and it, also, it is all about recycling of the bottles whereby we can get rid of them. So do you think there is an importance of recycling materials in our society? Yes, there is important with, with the recycling of this because first we conserve the environment and also it is a source of income and they can say maybe employment to people. So how long did it take to make this project? This project it took about two days because it needs some preparation of the bottles and also spraying of the bottles. And who inspired you to make this project? Uh, my art teacher inspired me to make this project. So what do you look forward to do in your future? I'm looking forward so as I can educate and make awareness to the people so as they can know about this recycling of the bottles and they can get rid of the plastic bottles. Wow, then you will help to save the environment. Yes, I will help them a lot. So after talking to Karim, we are now moving to the super security project. Wow, this is super security system. What is your name? My name is Aituni and this is my project. I called it super security system since it's concerned all about security. In this project, I have made the password door lock system, whereby my door can only be opened when I insert the correct password, unless that the door won't be opened. So in this project, I find it's very useful to my community since it helps in security, it helps in reducing the necessity of keys, so there is no need for you to walk around with your keys everywhere you go. This project, it's easy to install and it is low in cost, so everyone can afford it to buy and install in his or her home place, houses and other places. So this project, I can show you the demonstration of how I can insert my password and the door to be opened. What would you like to be in the future? In the future, I would like to be an optician since I want to help all people who have eyes problems. Wow, that is amazing. Thank you. So Irene, yes? I also had a project today wow. and we won. What was it about? Uh, this project was recycling plastic bottles mm -hmm. to make a dustbin. Uh -huh. It's really wonderful. Did you have a project today? I also had a project titled Rechargeable Cable 
but I didn't win. It was good, but yeah, we had a lot of projects in physics category. Yeah, there are so many. Yes. If you're enjoying this podcast, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave us a review. You can also share it with your family and friends. Until next time, bye! bye.